substance and who's going to maintain them? What's going to happen when they get a flat tire or the robot's going to fix itself? Of course it's not going to. There are so many problems with this scheme on top of they don't do self-driving all that well to begin with. His stock goes up when he talks about it. It just shows how stupid people are. They'll believe anything. Oh, it's the future. Yes, let's invest our money. And then when your money's gone in the future, you'll wonder. Hey, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Well, the United States just fired up their first gigantic hydrogen generator that is going to be able to do three tons of hydrogen a day. They claim it's totally green, that it's using solar power, wind power, and stuff to create hydrogen. Now, if it's so high, Cal, you know, to be well, born That's project, it. They were fighting for a while, so uh, I just didn't get the phone out on time. <laughs> hydrogen and carbon in various different configurations so there's a lot of hydrogen there you just have to break the bonds it's a pretty strong bond so most of the hydrogen used today is what they call dirty hydrogen now it's first stage that they have now it does one ton of hydrogen a day well if you would understand how many tons of hydrogen were needed to power and hey, hey. most of our stuff doesn't use hydrogen we have to change all that too now they're using biogas to create, right? Well, there's only a limited amount of biogas out there to be given. And they're now doing a thousand tons a day. You need an awful lot of these things, right? They say it's sustainable now. It's green, right? But that's because it's at a small level. They're never going to be able to get that much biogas. The truth of everything is, if you're hey, hey, hey. that raw material, then turn it into your product. There isn't that much biogas. Yeah, there they go. Now they claim by 2025 they can use solar power. I don't mind them fighting, but I don't like when they pull each other across the room by their ears. I don't like it. You know what's funny? If one runs to go on the paper to pee, the other one runs and they stare right next to each other peeing. Then they'll poop together. Then they'll run to the dog bowl together, eat some... Look, he just peed. I can't believe it. And the other guy's going to pee now. Watch. It's Usually they pee the same time, but... See, see, here he goes. Yeah, a little wise ass. So anyway, they do everything together. They run together. They, they go to the water dish together. Love these little guys. The guy running to the bowl back there, he's going to go home tonight. He's my mother-in-law's. I feel bad, but they, they see each other a couple times a week. Maybe two to three. If I was younger and my nerves could handle that stupid yelping, I would keep both of them. But I can't deal with it. And not even that. We have dog insurance on, on our dog and cat insurance on the cat. I cannot afford another policy. And then when they get older, they get sick. Like my dog, we just had to put him down a month ago. He, uh, my other dog, he cost us almost $2,500 that month. You got to lay the money out first before the insurance company pays you. Which I don't like because the insurance company, then they play games, you know. They do play games. They, you're at their mercy. Uh, they owed us two thousand dollars, I believe, out of that twenty five hundred, and so far we only got like eleven hundred. And to get the rest, we'll get it. But it's like pulling teeth. Where are you boys at? Come on. All right, there you are. What are you going on the sofa? Where's your brother? Go ahead, go, go out there. Get out there. I think they're gonna go lay down under the bed. They're tired. There they are. Here they are. There he goes. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> My last one that just died, he was 18 and he was $850 back 20 years ago. These guys are going for 2,500 a puppy now. That's just ridiculous. I didn't pay that, but I had to drive halfway across the United States to get them. I found a guy who gave me these guys, I think 500 a pup plus tax. And I got 
I got the pedigree papers for them and everything, which doesn't matter because I won't breed them and I'm, they're not show dogs. They're my dogs. So, the, the, you know, the pedigree papers, they, they get put away and they never come out again, <laughs> pretty much. Hey, hey. You're not going to let your brother breathe, are you? I try to tell people, never break into my house. These guys are totally identical, except this guy here. Hey, 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 come here, boys. Stop, stop, stop. This guy's got black feet. The front feet are totally black. And this guy's got little white tips. Like, like on the back feet, you see the little tips? He's got it on all four. He's only got it on the back. Mm. Other than that, and mine's a little shorter. Mine's got a short body. He must have been the runt or something. I don't know. He's tiny. He's short. And he weighs about a third less than the, uh, this guy. Or well, the guy on bottom. I really can't tell which one's which right now. Hey, why are you guys getting so serious? Why are you guys getting so serious? This guy's mine. I love them so much, these little guys. They bring happiness to you. Yeah, they do. I'm going on 36 years. 35. Our first Lhasa lasted 17 years. The second one lasted 18. Now this guy, so. You know, and I didn't want to get another one. I think what it is, is... Uh, At my age, I, I don't know, man. It's like you, you think that the door is going to outlast you. And, uh, I, it, yeah, it's as crazy as that sounds, you know. If he lives 18 more years, I'll be 80. Yeah, I doubt it. Hey! <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to say 70, man. That would have made me feel good. All right, they're gonna calm down now. It's been almost nine minutes. I had enough.